Okay guys, so I'm gonna try my first Obor kill now that I have 41 prayer, I, I can use protect range, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this out. Probably just like speed it up and see how it goes. Yeah, we got a kill. And that was actually 13k coins. That's actually uh, a lot of money, not gonna lie. It's actually really difficult, which is kind of interesting that that's difficult, because yeah, he's a free to play boss, but. All right, that's kill number one. Okay, kill number two. This boss is actually very challenging. I don't, I don't like it. And we got another giant key and 65 nature runes. Jeez, that is uh, very good. So that's another free kill, which is fantastic. Ugh, this boss is scary. Not gonna lie. Another kill, and we get 20 limpet roots. It's not even bad. Hey, rune 2 H sword from this one. That is actually really good. I'm gonna use that for training because like that's that's probably more DPS than a rune long sword, and that's a freaking huge alk. That is actually an amazing drop. Awesome. Okay, next kill, and another giant key and 20 limper roots. Okay, next kill. 59 nature runes. I was just complaining that I'm almost out of nature runes. All right, last kill unless we get another giant key, and then we'll be done with Obor. It's actually kind of fun. Okay, final kill. And Rune Battle Axe. Ooh, that's actually really good. I think that's probably better than a Rune 2H in terms of DPS as well. Okay, so that is the end of that. Um, we actually got, I mean, those, those were some good drops. I think it was definitely worth camping that just for fun. Got a better weapon than Dave, so haha. <laughs> well, you know, this guy is cool. You are, you are a cool dude. Not gonna lie. So guys, just had Dave Alk my rune battle axe because I can't Alk it. So I'm going to go buy rune sword to kill some hill giants so I can get my 43 prayer so we can do monkey madness. So that'll be cool. Yay. Okay, guys, that was actually one of the smoothest monkey madness runs I think we've ever done. It took us about an hour. We didn't have energy potions either. So that actually worked really, really, really well. And um, yeah, Dave almost died. But, you know, we're not going to talk about that. I did fine because I'm just better at this game than Dave is, of course. But we're just going to go ahead and finish the quest. That is monkey madness completed. So... I'm just gonna not ever get a dragon skim, cause yeah. But I don't know how much XP this is gonna get me. I'm gonna put it on attack, of course, cause attack's more important in the beginning. So let's see what levels we end up with. Look at that 110k XP drop. I don't know if you actually saw that, but all the way up to 49 attack, 48 strength, 40, almost 43 defense, and yeah. So that's actually pretty sick. And yeah. And then uh, I. Blah, blah, blah. So guys, gonna. Open up these three magpies that I have because we need some money, and we got amulets of power, which is actually really good. We uh, it's the best amulets that we could possibly get right now, so it's fantastic. I will give one of these to Dave, and I'll keep two because I'm I'm selfish. Okay, guys, so long awaited. This is gonna be Dragon Slayer done. I mean, it was it was pretty difficult. Ye have slayed the dragon, and ye have got some XP, and that was that was horrible. If you if you just you know whatever. Uh, didn't get to record because I am killing shamans on my other account, but 73 hunter coming in. I think I'm going to take a break at 74, catch some magpies and ninjas just to make some money. Um, me and Dave are kind of having a little argument over whether glories are super useful to rush. I feel like the power emmy is about as good as a glory until, I don't know, for quite a while. So, yeah. Anyway, 73 hunter, I'm going to take a break at 74. So guys, we just hit 74 Hunter, which means I'm going to take a break for a while. Uh, I now have a good money-making method kind of available to me, so I can catch in gemplings whenever I want, so I can start getting gear and training a little bit more efficiently whenever I get bored of Hunter. So, me and Dave are going to go do some quests while he's live-streaming, so yeah, I think we're going to do the Golem, uh, Fremenic Trials, Shadow of the Storm, a few other ones, so yeah. Okay, there's 25 Thieving knocked out. We need that for um, the Golem, and we're going to go ahead and do that now. So guys, I was recording all the wrong things, but we actually got an easy clue, and uh, also, I think we did the Golem and Demon Slayer, I, yeah, I couldn't really remember, so, missed out on some very important stuff, gonna finish this easy clue up, um, kind of while I can, and I think this is the last step, so I guess I'll just record the whole thing, might as well, come on, Ned, give me that, flared trousers, black shield, H3, that's what I need. Okay guys, so that is Shadow of the Storm done, thank god. I actually was able to do that boss. Balance. I mean, this amazing gear clearly was the key. Anyway, now we're going to do, I guess, Lost Tribe so we can get the Dorgas Shun crossbow and start training range. Yeah, put that jail again! 
Okay, guys, that was the last tribe done while Dave is still struggling back there ah. trying to finish his quest. You'll probably hear him raging in the background during this clip, but yep, we can now buy Dory's Stone crossbows and all that good stuff, so yeah, nice. Okay, guys, so again, beat Dave in this quest because he's just a noob. Fremit Kyle's done a lot of XP, probably gonna get quite a few levels. Strength, thieving, agility, crafting, fletching, woodcutting. So guys, first little trip done, we got some uh, magpie amplings, I'm going to go ahead and open these because I need some money, sinister key is always nice, nature tiara, that'll actually be useful in the future, so I'll keep that, and we also got some nature amplings, which I guess I'll open these now, yeah, not bad. So guys, I decided to start killing some ice trolls because I need to get 55 magic in order to basically um, high alk all the stuff that I get from Pyro, and we just got our first good drop, which is a rune warhammer, which I will be picking up here in a second. Unfortunately, I spent like half my bank on nature runes and then realized that I couldn't high alk things, so yeah, that was sad. And also realized that these things drop nature runes, so I'm just going to be staying here for a while, probably until 55 mage, I guess, and just see how much money we can make. I think Dave is also here as well, so yeah. Apologies for the gross normal client, but actually we just got a rune kite shield, which is the best shield that we can have on the account right now. Dave almost has a defender by now because he's, he's way ahead of me, I've been slacking, but... Yep, Rune Kite Shield. I'm not sure if I'm going to alk that right away, or if I'm going to keep it for a while. Eh, I'll have to see. I might want the money. So yeah, this is going to be the end of the first real trip of uh, Ice Trolls, which obviously we've got some pretty good stuff. I'm going to try to alk everything and save the Rune Kite Shield, because I'll probably want to use that, because I'm not going to be getting defenders for quite a while. So I'll sell, or I'll alk everything except for that and see if I can get enough. Like, as you can see, I accidentally bought like way wrong like ratio of runes, so... If I can buy enough air runes, I guess, to kind of match this and do another trip, that'd be nice. If not, I'll just talk to the rune kite shield and hope I get another one. So, guys, moment of truth. Still kept the rune kite shield. So, obviously, we're like 100 runes off, but that's close enough. I will, uh, basically, I'll just use up all these runes and ice trolls. Probably all of them. Yeah, uh, it's pretty AFK and really good money, and I could use the money right now. So, I'm going to do that, and however much money I make, I'm just going to spend it all on nature runes to entangle or to snare implings. So, turn money into more money. Kaboom! Rune Kite Shield number two. Uh, this is going quite well. That's already enough to pay for all the runes that I've bought and also make profit. And I'm close to 55 magic now, so that's pretty awesome. Could definitely use, I guess, another Rune Kite Shield would be nice. Then I would get, have enough to like buy a rune plate, and then I'll just tell Dave to give me his rune plate legs, and we'll be good. Hey, 55 magic. Nice. So that means I can start alking this stuff, and I can kind of just stay here a lot longer. So, yes, I know this is considered valuable. And that's 30k, so pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to stay here for, I guess, until I run out of runes. Maybe maybe even until I have, like, 500 left or something. But, yep, yeah, that's pretty nice to get. Uh, I can now out things, which is fantastic. My main is crying right now. No joke. You guys know how dry I am on my main for granite shield. Let me get one here. <sighs> I don't know if I should keep it or out it. Um... Depends. I'll see if Dave... If Dave happened to get one too, then I'll probably alk it, because we're not going to be doing a leak lose for a long time, so... But yeah, Granite Shield... <sighs> must be nice. So I think I'm going to stop uh, the trolls for now. I actually did decide to alk that Granite Shield, just because eh, I'm probably going to be doing these a lot on task now that I know. I never knew how to safe spot them back when I was doing my other account, so whenever I get them on task, I'll probably do them here and just safe spot them and trim my range up and stuff, so... I'll definitely get another granite shield pretty soon. We're not going to be doing elites for a long time, so I'd rather have the money. So, yep, uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and, I guess, either do some implings, do some slayers, something like that. I don't know what I want to do. So, guys, just so I'm going to start doing some slayer, and I really felt like doing it. So, I'm just going to, I bought some mithril from here with the coins that I had. It's really cheap, so, I mean, it's better than nothing uh, for whenever I'm deciding to do some slayer. So, uh, Dave actually got a rune skibitar from a fire giant, so he's going to trade me that, and I'm going to actually probably do some slayer just because it's kind of fun and, you know, I've got nothing better to do, so might as well. So, guys, going to go ahead and end the episode here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. So, uh, I mean, we got some, got some good stuff accomplished, you know, some amazing gear, as you can see. He did uh, lend me his rune skibitar, and if you want to, you want the proof that he got it, then, you know, you can watch his channel, but hope you guys did enjoy next episode uh i'm actually gonna be doing some slayer just for fun i'm actually gonna i'm really curious i would love to rush just, like literally just rush and buy superior slayer like as soon as possible because i want to get like superior cave crawlers and stuff just like for fun so hopefully you guys enjoy and i'm looking forward to the rest of the series make sure to check out dave's channel as well for his perspective and i will see you guys in a little bit peace